Hi everyone, uh, Nick Smith here. Um, I've got a um, an example project that I um, I wanted to um, to share with you. Um, it, it was a it was a problem that came up from um, a, a user um, recently, um, and it, it's a topic that um, again we often get um, questions about, or, or people struggle with this particular area. Um, so. Um, if I, um, I'm just going to start a new project and I'm going to load in the um, the drawing in question, which is this one here, um, and the drawing will um, will load, and uh, we then go to set area and we set the extent of the calculation grid to the extent of the area, and then we go to select area to zoom in on the area of interest that we actually want to design. Now, one of the things that you will notice straight away when you when you load the drawing in is the scale factor it's been brought in with a scale factor of 0 0.001 now that will normally indicate to me that the drawing is in millimeters so if i go into um, autocad and i go to um, the inquire function and distance and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure it from the end point of there to a point perpendicular to there and can you see how it's coming in at 7200 so that again says to me that um, the drawing is in in millimeters and not in meters so um, there's a couple of ways that we can um, we can get around this um, the first way is is that is that before you um, you actually prepare the drawing is that you convert the drawing from millimeters into meters um, and that's a function that you can do within AutoCAD um, and, and other CAD programs. Um, so, um, and if um, if you need any more help on that, then please drop me an email, and I'd be more than happy to um, to help anyone with that. So, but the situation that had happened is that this this particular person had. Um, already designed the project what they'd done is they'd um, exported it as a DXF as you can see here I've already created the uh, drawing that uh, that's been exported and then when they came to overlay the two projects um, in in AutoCAD what they were finding is is that they were getting getting scaling problems so um, because this drawing is in millimeters um, and the other drawing is that was exported from Lighting Reality is in meters because if you look in the bottom right hand corner um, down here you will see it says all dimensions in meters. So, um, so the, the, the situation that we have is that um, that this is already um, in um, in millimeters, and what we want to do is bring the drawing in from the um, from the lighting reality export, and um, and um, bring that in in um, in meet in, in and convert it into millimeters. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can do that. If we insert it as a block and then browse to the um, location of where the um, the file happens to be. Um, it's obviously a DXF, so um, no, nope, that's the wrong folder. It's in there. So it's obviously a DXF. So I need to select that there and select open. Um, when generally, as a rule, when we're working on drawings, we always work in um, based on the same origin. Um, so that if you have two drawings that overlay, um, then they always they always work together. But what we can do here is. Um, bring it in at a scale factor of a thousand um, and then what that will then do is as the two overlay it, they should come in at the same same location um, and there we are um, the, the two things the two drawings have overlaid um, this is an area that we get um, get a lot of questions about um, on the reality help desk um, and um, you can always drop us an email on that if you're um, if you're a licensed user um, and you're paying maintenance, and we'd be more than happy to um, to help you out with that. Um, in terms of um, the step that we would have done um, at the start if we wanted to convert the drawing, um, what I would generally do is to um, is to start off with a blank drawing, um, and normally the the AutoCAD um, ACAD or a, um, ACAD LT, depending on which version of AutoCAD you've got, is normally the best because there's nothing in it at all. Um, and then insert as a block, browse to where the um, the drawing is, um, and it is 
that file there, select open. And again, if we bring that in at a scale factor of 0 0.001, that will scale that drawing from millimeters into meters. Um, we can obviously explode that as we bring it in um, and then um, zoom to extents. Now, one of the areas that I often find with scaling drawings is um, um, this di dimensioning and so on. And if you're if you're familiar with the dimension styles facility, you can go in here and modify this um, and and change the scale of the um, um, of the items. The other alternative is is that if it's not critical to the um, to the project that you're working on, you can literally just go through and just turn all of those those bits off, um, um, or alternatively just delete them. So um, the drawing comes in at the right location. The drawing is now in meters, and again, before we let get too far, um, we can go to dimensions and distance, select there, and go perpendicular to. And as you can see, it's coming now at, at 7.2034. So I know that that's the meters. I can do a save as, um, save that file. Um, and um, and off we go and then we can go ahead and design that in the normal way so um, I hope you found that um, that particular that this video useful um, if um, I could ask you a couple of favors um, firstly if you do if you have enjoyed it found it useful if you hit the like button below that would that would be really good if you have any comments or questions please um, message me below you can drop me um, an email to um, support at nicksmithassociates.com or you can tweet me nicksmith1246 through twitter um, if you have um, any um, any areas that you want to um, want me to look at more than happy to do that um, all i need to know is, is what you want me to cover um, you can either drop me in, uh, um, an email, um, support at nicksmithassociates.com, tweet me nicksmith1246 at Twitter, um, or you can uh, message me in the area below. If uh, Many people know my phone number, so you can always just ring me up um, and we can talk about it over the phone and we can deal with it there. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again.